your six dollar celery sticks these things have never changed in price once they go up they're stuck there forever can you imagine that 7.99 for tomatoes oh no oh <laughs> that's ridiculous holy cow the lemons the lemons are 6.99 that's insane two pounds of bacon wrapped scallops for 27 dollars would you buy it holy smoly that's pricey what kind of quality of life can we expect with inflation crushing the middle class and people on fixed incomes? I mean, it doesn't hurt the 1%. It doesn't hurt them at all. It hurts us. In the last, what, two and a half, three years, we've had 10 years of inflation just crushing us. We're, I mean, we're like a, a hamster on the wheel, you know, just spinning around going nowhere with, with inflation constantly going up. It's just crazy. I mean, we're turning into a, a society of haves and have-nots, and we're going to be the have-nots the middle class and the fi fixed income. I really feel sorry for, you know, the fi fixed income people. I mean, what do they do? How do they get extra money? I mean, the next increase for Social Security is 3.2%. What does that do? It th That doesn't do anything. It's just insane. I mean, I don't know how we're going to crawl out of this year. I know we have an election coming up in 2024. That's going to be interesting to see. And the next four years after that, that'll tell the tale of uh, what's going to happen here. Anyways, today we're in front of Costco here. It's a cold, brisk morning for Florida. 43 degrees this morning, so we're going to run in here, check some prices. Let's have some fun. Let's check out the seedless grapes here. Red grapes are $6.99. Look at this. They still have the pomegranates here. You get six of them for $20. $2.49 a pound. They do look nice, but, uh, I mean, $20. <laughs> That's the thing that I don't like, $20. bucks. 6 dollars for the seedless grapes. Probably about as cheap as you're going to find them anymore. $8.99 for the candy red. And these are tiny. These are tiny little grapes here. Very, very tiny. But the thing that isn't tiny is the price. $4.59 for your limes. Holy cow, the lemons. The lemons are $6.99. That's insane. Well, you get, you get four pounds of lemons for $6.99. It's just crazy. Those are the Myers. Let's check out the other bag of lemons. Five pounds for your... Inferior lemons, I guess. Six thirty-nine. Goodness gracious! Let's look at some of the mandarins. Six ninety-nine for five pounds of the guys. I guess this is your average price. We just have to get used to high prices. Let's go. Let's make the circle here. Oranges. Eight fifty-nine for your navels here. Eight fifty-nine. Grapefruits are four fifty-nine, and the persimmons are four ninety-nine right here. And your plums are $4.99 for three pounds, so I don't know if that's a good price or not. I do like plums, though. Let's check out some of the tomato prices. Hot house grown tomatoes here. It says right here, $5.89 for two pounds of the cherry tomatoes. They look good, and I like them in a salad, but I don't like the price. And here's more of the medley kind, $5.99. That's, that's $3 a pound for tomatoes. Holy cow, tomatoes on the vine right here, $7.99 for these guys. Look at this. Can you imagine that? $7.99 for tomatoes. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. $4.89. Here's, here's a little bit better price compared to that. But still, it's $4.89. $4.89 for the guys. And here's more tomatoes. $6.29 for four pounds. $6.29 for the guys. Tomatoes are dang expensive, that's for sure. Here's my creamer potatoes for $6.99. You get five pounds, but I don't think I'm going to be eating five pounds of creamer potatoes. And you can get a, get this from Aldi for $2.99 a pound, so take your pick. Garlic, $5.99 for this bag right here. Two pounds of fresh garlic. Here's your 10 pounds of yellow onions. If you have a family, this isn't bad. $6.50 for that. Sweet onions, five pounds, $4.49. I think this is a bargain. I found a bargain right here. These are a bargain right there for the sweet onions, $4.49. 49 that's not bad at all it's under a dollar a pound here's some pears 6.99 for four pounds and here's your apple pears 8.59 i think they've come down a little bit but these apples right here these are these are 8.99 for that holy smoly's product of usa well at least something's from the u.s here honey crisp are, are four pounds for 5.79 Let's check out the uh, blueberries, $7.49, but they're not in season, so that's the reason. The reason for the season here, where are they from? Argentina, that's why. Strawberries, $5.69. There's the grapes for 
let's check out all the pomegranate it's two dollars off pomegranate the, these guys right here 5.99 for that I've never had one of those and your organic raspberries are 7.99 goodness gracious that's a little high organic blueberries 8.79 vegetable tray 12 bucks butternut squash tray 8.50 organic squash seven dollars cauliflower five dollars broccoli sprouts I mean organic Brussels sprouts, I'm sorry, $5.99. Jeez, oh, I'm losing it here. Green beans are five bucks. Green beans, who would ever think that, oh, they're organic. They use that name organic on everything. Green beans would be $5 for two pounds. Who would ever thought that they would come? And your bioengineered corn went up. It used to be $4.59 forever. Now it's $4.99. Well, I just, why don't they just make it $5 even for Pete's sake? Pioneer growers, that means that the, it's bioengineered and your your six dollar celery sticks these things have never changed in price once they go up they're stuck there forever and here's your fancy rainbow carrot still five bucks here's something for two bucks that's not bad this is the best i've seen here look at this organic carrots four pounds a dollar ninety nine this is a bargain i found a bargain everybody holy smoly that is a bargain that's a good price i'm impressed the baby Bellas, not impressed. You can get these for four dollars and fourteen cents at um, at Sam's, but uh, here at Costco they're five ninety nine. And here's just your regular white mushrooms, three seventy nine. They're not too bad either, but I do like the Bella mushrooms a lot better. And here's some of your organic spring mix, one pound four thirty nine. Organic baby spinach, one pound is four thirty nine for that. Your mini seedless watermelons have never come down in price. Look at that. That is a mini watermelon. Oh, jeez. $7.99 for two. And your honeydews are $5 each. That's a big honeydew, but so is the price. $5. Holy cow. They actually have some of these pot stickers on sale. $9.59. Uh, big uh, Bibigo pot, pot, uh, chicken pot stickers. I can't even pronounce it. And um, they're they're chicken and vegetable dumplings and you get how many pounds you get in here you get four pounds of the guys that's not bad and i really like pot stickers no antibiotics ever yeah sure 9.59 no for four pounds i think that's a bargain right there 67 ounces look at that the pot stickers i love those guys that's a good deal right there and i've noticed that the breaded chicken um nuggets here have gone up four to four pounds 17.99 I don't know why chicken is so inexpensive, but once you get it manufactured or you know cooked like this, pre pre done already, seventeen ninety nine. That's eighteen dollars for four pounds of chicken. My gosh, and just bare. The only thing that's going to be bare is your wallet. Here's a little bit better price on the chicken strips, but you only get three pounds. Three pounds of the crispy chicken strips, fourteen ninety nine. They're the Tyson. I've had these before. They don't taste that good. And then you have the Kirkland Signature, four pounds for $13.99 for the bites, or the breast chicken ch breast chunks. I've never tried them before. Um, no hormones or steroids. Well, how do they get to grow so big in only 10 weeks of chicken? That's what I'd like to know. Let's look at some of the chicken here. It's on sale. Real good food chicken gluten-free strips, $4.50 off right here. $10, $10.49 for the guys, three pounds of it. I'd like to try these for $10.49. I'd like to try them. Chicken nuggets here, organic golden golden platter. <laughs> What's the golden price? $12.99 for two pounds <laughs> for the golden chicken nuggets. Oh, I'm sorry, it's golden platter. But they should be gold chicken nuggets for, look at that, $6.50 a pound, $12.99. And more chicken nuggets. Uh, panko chicken nuggets, five pounds, thirteen ninety nine. Three pounds, fifteen eighty nine, and five pounds for eighteen forty nine of the Tyson up there. Man, I'll tell you, chicken, they're really getting us with this stuff, you know. My goodness. Let's look at the Kirkland shrimp here. Two pounds, farm raised, right here. Let's find out where it's from. I can't get the darn things out. <laughs> they're just wedged right in there. And what's it a product of? I hate, I hate to even look. It just says shrimp. I can't see where old product of Vietnam. So there you go. It's all farm raised. $15.99 for two pounds. Wild caught scallops. $34.99 for two pounds. The picture looks real good if you can get them there. 
<laughs> if you can cook them like that, but you know, it's just a picture. $35 for two pounds. Now I noticed something right by the scallops. Here's some bacon wrap scallops, $26.99. You mean to tell me you buy the scallops and you put a piece of bacon around it and um, you charge uh, uh, $27 for this? Bacon wrapped scallops, hand, hand wrapped in hickory smoked bacon. I don't think that's worth it, but my gosh, ready to cook. Uh, it's just overpriced stuff. You know, you could prepare that yourself and, and save a lot more money, but you're gonna have to spend $34.99 on two pounds of scallops. Two pounds of bacon wrapped scallops for $27. Would you buy it? Holy smoly, that's pricey. Let's check out more seafood. Sockeye salmon, $36.99. You get three pounds. They're all vacuum sealed in here. I like that. And this flounder. I like this wild caught, but I let me see where it, where it's where it's caught right here. I want to see what's a what's it a product of from Seattle, Washington. That's what this flounder says. I thought the last stuff I looked at said China. Product of Thailand. It says it right on the very bottom. Product of Thailand for the wild caught flounder. But it's packaged in Seattle. $15.99 for that. You got to be careful. It's hard, it's hard to spot this stuff. Here's some wild Kita salmon fillets. $22.99. Here's the Chilean sea bass wild caught. $45.99. Now I'd like to ask, would anybody buy this? Would anybody pay this price for it? Chilean sea bass, wild gut, product of Australia. So that means it's, well, it's frozen like a rock. $45.99 for the stuff. Holy cow, that's really pricey. $45.99 for Chilean sea bass. Would you buy it? It's pound and a half. Holy cow. Then they have the veggie straws on sale, $5.99. But the last time I bought them, these things, they changed the flavor in these, and they're, they're really horrible. It seems like they're changing the uh, the formulas in these for some reason. Organic, now they call it organic. It just tastes bad. I don't like it. I don't know. Look at this. This is what happens. Look at this bag. I mean, you just see this all the time. I don't know whether it happened when they put it out or not, but look at that. Just open. But anyways, $5.99 a bag. Let's check some of the monster drinks here. This is the same price as they are at Sam's, $36.99. 24 16 ounce cans, same right here. Let's go check the Red Bull Celsius. I've never heard of that sparkling variety pack, $23.99. Here's Red Bull here, 24 8.4 ounce cans, $37.99 for the guys. My gosh. And here's 24 8.4 ounce cans, $37.99. They don't have the bigger cans. The bigger cans, I think the 16 ounce or the 12 ounce, they're six, what, not, no, maybe 54 at Sam's. I can't remember the price. Anyways, they were high. They still have the silver foil on sale, 14 dollars 530 off. And we, we bought the smaller wraps. So we didn't buy the, the 18 inch. We bought the other one. And I think they have it out in the center of the aisle. It's still the same. No, it's 17 17 68 If I can find it, I'll show you. But this this is the best you're going to find it, regular $20, because it's never going to come down in price for the silver foil, 530 off. Now that's a bargain right there. People say I don't find bargains, but that's that's a bargain if you want to call the silver foil a bargain. They do have some nice olive oil here. Kirkland Signature Olive Oil, one liter, eleven fifty nine here. Then you have canola oil here, twelve seventy nine. Two three quarts of it. Two three quart containers, twelve seventy nine. And here's some of the vegetable oil, same price, twelve forty nine for the vegetable oil. Here's your Corn oil, 2.5 gallons is 30 bucks, and 4.6 gallons of soybean oil is 35.89. They could make it five gallons, and some of the coconut oil, right here, 84 ounces, and it's organic right there, 13.49. I don't think that's too bad because that's really expensive if you go to Walmart, uh, Publix, and and they're really going to screw you there. 11.99 for sunflower oil three liters that's really a light oil i've never used it before mild flavor but 11.99 now here's a good deal on some a1 here 10.99 for this and you get two uh 1.4 ounce bottles of steak sauce a1 that'll last you forever and here's some sweet baby rays 20 40 ounce containers here for 6.79 look at the size of the guys my gosh i mean that's that's the way to go and i really like that stuff I like to add brown sugar to it whenever I'm barbecuing. That's just a hint. <laughs> Sweet baby rays. And a lot of people say that this is really good, this Japanese sauce. I saw a guy just put some in his cart. Japanese barbecue sauce. 
I'm gonna have to ask my wife about it. Nine ninety nine. Now here's some of the ketchup. This is this is ten ninety nine at uh, at Sam's, and I don't know if it's the same stuff. It's just simply no artificial ingredients. Twelve ninety nine for three forty four ounce things. It's still cheaper buying it here than if you would go to Walmart or Publix. Oh, on the other side, the Cholula, nine ninety nine. Anywhere you go. One of these will be $7.99. Whether you go to Publix is probably $9.99 for one. But here you get two of the guys, and that's really good stuff. I really like that on my tacos. I'm trying to find the pepperoncini, and let's just look at some of the pickles here. Mount Olive Organic Pickles. I hope it'll drop it. Everything's in glass now. Uh, 46 ounces. That's not too bad. Kosher Baby Dills, $4.99. And then they have all these capers. This would last me. This would last me three years. But if you do a lot of cooking, Italian cooking, $6.99. That's a lot of capers. My gosh. Usually they come in a, a two-ounce container. And what else do they have? Oh, here it is. These are oh, these are sun-dried tomatoes. I thought they were the peppers, but sun-dried tomatoes, twelve seventy-nine, and olive oil and Italian herbs, twelve seventy-nine. And here's this fancy thing of Greek olive medley, thirteen forty-nine. I think they're just selling the uh, the glass container, and these aren't too bad. These uh, these olives, five ninety-nine. Pitted olives, five ninety-nine. That's a lot of olives for six bucks. And here's some for ten ninety or eleven ninety nine. You get you get two of these two of these guys. Look at that Spanish queen olives. They should call them king. Look at the size of the monsters. <laughs> Twelve bucks, six bucks each. Those are some huge olives right there. No, I think this is a good price on the Kalamata olives here. Six forty nine for all these guys. Product of Greece, twenty ounces. Oh, contents thirty three point six eight dry contents. 20 ounces. I like how they put that on there. $6.50 for that. I think that's a good bargain right there. You'll never find that in the regular store for that price. Let's check out the tuna. Albacore solid tuna. White tuna. $16.99 for that. And let's go to the safe catch right here. Yellowfin tuna. Ahi. $12.99 for this. Every tuna mer mercury tested. Really? <laughs> Where's the results? $12.99. Now here's the Nutella that my wife likes to take to work, and I saw these. They were they were a target. They were two nineteen for one of these guys, and you get a sixteen pack here for fifteen sixty nine. That's not a bad deal. My wife's a nurse, so she likes the stuff on the go, and uh, that's not a bad deal at all. When you buy it in bulk, fourteen forty nine for this. One of these, I think, at Target was ten dollars just for one of them. Look at the price here, fourteen forty nine. Then your GIF, eleven fifty nine. It really hasn't changed. Sometimes I find it on sale for eight bucks, extra crunchy. That's my favorite right there. There you go. And it's same for the creamy, eleven fifty nine. That's a good deal right there for now, for the time being. It used to be cheaper, but right now it's considered a good deal. Now I always like to check the cereal. It's a good judge of uh, the price of everything. Cinnamon Toast, seventeen ninety nine. The checks is on sale. Look at this, fourteen ninety nine for this. Look at that. That's a deal right there. Five dollars, and of course your special K is is a special price nine ninety nine. Always always expensive, but oh, I'm impressed with this. Look at that four ninety nine. I found a bargain. I like it, and this has never changed in price. Thirteen ninety nine for this. No sugar added. Cheerios Honey Nut nine thirty nine. I think this has gone up. I don't know why. And here's Cheerios, just the regular stuff. Your basic. Six eighty nine, but if you buy it at a regular price, it'd be five thirty nine at Walmart just for one box. Honey bunches of oats seven eighty nine for the big box. Here's your morning sum at thirteen forty nine. They don't have a big selection of cereal in this place. That's about it right there. There's not much other than your bag cereal right here, keto friendly. Catalina Crunch right here, ten ninety nine. There's not very much here. This is it, and some granola, no sugar. $13.99 for this 22 ounces. Boy, they're really, really lacking on the cereal here at uh, Costco. They do have the maple syrup here, and it's the same price uh, at Sam's. Organic maple syrup, uh, $12.99, grade A, amber color, rich in taste. Oh, I bet it's delicious. I haven't checked the honey prices in a, in a while. This isn't bad, $12.99. Florida raw, unfiltered honey, three pounds, $12.99. $12 that's not a bad price. I kind of like that. Here's some organic honey, $14.99, and it comes in these goofy little things here with the uh, Kirkland brand, though. And you get three of these 24-ounce containers, $14.99. I'll, I'll take the U.S. Uh, 
raw unfiltered Florida stuff though that looks better and here's a really big container for $15.99 right here you get five pounds of it all product of Argentina this thing came all the way from Argentina <laughs> $15.99 you get five pounds of it though that's a deal right there Here's some of this Himalayan sea salt, and I think this is a really good price. Five pounds is $7.49 for this pink Himalayan sea salt. And a lot of people think it's lower in sodium, but, but it's actually not. It's still sodium. It's still salt. And I know the Tom Brady, you know the guy that won the, what, six Super Bowl rings, or is it seven? I lost count, but $7.49, he always, he swears by this. He said it's lower sodium, but uh, well, I was reading up on Wikipedia, said it's not salt is salt, it's all sodium. Here's a really important item that I have at home, and this is a vacuum sealing system right here. $25 off, $74.99, one of these vacuum sealers. This is really nice. I've had mine for three years, and I'm thinking of getting a new one. This one looks really good, and then they have the vacuum sealing bags, $19.99. This is, this is essential if you're going to be shopping and buying in bulk for, for uh, doing this. You get 50 pre-cut one quart bags, four rolls, and three rolls here, a variety pack, 20 bucks. This isn't a bad deal at all, not at all. Like I said, these are, these. look at this, these are just essential for uh, keeping your food, uh, you know, um, keeping it longer. And uh, when you buy in bulk, let's say you buy a whole bunch of the chicken, you buy some pork, and you want to cut it up, if you're just like my wife and I, just two of us, we don't have any kids, and you want to and you want to vacuum seal it just like that this is the way to go $75 I think this is a bargain and with that under a hundred dollars and you can save a lot of money by sealing your food this thing is essential right here no doubt about it and we just bought a dryer too we paid a lot of money at Best Buy I hate to say it and here's an electric dryer right here $449 for the guy look at that that's not bad at all regular what $500 $449 for that it's an LG, and here's another LG right here. Samsung electric dryer, 7.4 cubic foot. That shot really nice, I like that. $4.99, and here's the washer. $4.99 for this. Top load, this is nice. My gosh, I think next time we're in the market for this, for under $1,000, well, you gotta put your tax in, you could get a washer and a dryer, LG. You'll have to set it up yourself, but still, a thousand dollars that's not a bad deal I'm getting a uh, hot dog right here dollar uh, fifty quarter pound plus all beef hot dog buck fifty with a soda and they have different pizzas here they only get the pepperoni and cheese and then the pepperoni then there's the the twist right there and I don't know what those stuff things are those are the cinnamon twists those are really good but I'm waiting for my hot dog here a dollar fifty and they're fantastic but you can see the menu right here, the pizza. Oh, that's a chicken bake, roast beef sandwich, Caesar uh, salad, there's your hot dog, and there's your $2.99 uh, uh, ice cream sundaes. Oh, mine just come up, $9.26. That's mine, thank you. Oh, then you get a free drink with it right here, so I'll, I'm gonna get the Mountain Dew. Let me put this camera down. So there's, there's the hot dog, that's what you get. It's supposed to be a foot long and I want to get some relish and you get mustard, ketchup and relish with it. That's it, just the mustard with it. I got to put this guy back in the bag and so I got my Mountain Dew, $1.50 for all that. It's an all beef hot dog. Costco makes all their own hot dogs so I'm going to chow this guy down. Holy smolies, I forgot to do a closing. Costco was such a zoo. Right after I had my hot dog there, I, I scrambled out of that place. It was a bad house. I mean, you're trying to walk down the aisle and people are pushing their carts and either grabbing at stuff and you know how they give away the free stuff there. Well, I tell you, people were just mobbing that just to get like one potato chip and a little tiny paper cup. It was just a zoo there. Just crazy. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see ya.